Imagine, for a moment, the worst crimes against humanity. Picture the cruelest affronts to decency. Conjure your darkest nightmares, and then realize it could all be so much worse. When civilization crumbles in one terrifying moment, when people are gleefully breaking into unthinkable acts of violence all around you, when everyone you love has died screaming in agony, what do you do? There is no help. There is no hope. There is no escape. There are only the cross. Garth Ennis has pulled out all the stops to write the most depraved and twisted book of his career, one that also may be his most poignant human drama. Crossed is Ennis' horrifically visceral exploration of the pure evil that humans are truly capable of indulging and collected here are all ten heart-stopping chapters. This gut-wrenching vision is brought to vivid, and more than a little disturbing, life by his partner in crime Jason Burroughs. Crossed is a zombie story without actually be a zombie story. It fits in the same vein as a story like 28 Days Later or Dawn of the Dead, but only to the extent that there are deranged beings created by an unknown infection. Instead of being zombies though, these creatures are basically human. If you are infected by the cross plague, you basically resort to an insane primal being. Your instincts devolve. Your need to shut up everything that moves in grotesque ways becomes the most prevalent, and you are not above extreme violence and cannibalism, even to those that have become like you. Where it came from? Nobody knows. But you don't want to be near anyone who has been infected, or it's already over. The story follows five survivors of the initial outbreak as they try to adapt and survive in this new post-apocalyptic environment. Follow me beyond the cut to find out some of my thoughts crossed by Garth Ennis and Jason Burroughs. As a note, mild spoilers are discussed. Nothing that would ultimately ruin the overall story, but you should be warned regardless. To say the story is deranged, violent, and horrifying is to put it lightly. As you can probably surmise for those that have read Garth Ennis' other works, such as Preacher and the Boys, he does not shy away from some of the more extreme and graphic aspects of the story. To be honest, after Preacher I'm not really shocked in the oh my god, I can't believe he wrote this way, but I still get a bit wide-eyed and shocked at moments like this. The obvious depravity aside, Crossed is pretty great. The fact that it is a limited story like this helps it stay focused, and I don't think I could see an ongoing like this that'd be too evil, and the story flow is fantastic. Garth Ennis is a great storyteller, sick and twisted nature and all. The characters are very endearing, and it's easy to get attached to the lead characters. It's obvious showing of a good storyteller when he can torture a character, drag them down into the dirt, and we as the reader feel the pain, especially in just 10 issues. That's the case with Cross. There are a lot of incredibly dark moments in this story, and I can see people being put off by its nature, but I really enjoyed even the darkest of moments. There is a lot of devastation to be had, but also retribution, and I find that the last issue really ties everything together as well as sets an oddly optimistic tone. When you get down to it, though, Crossed is obviously a reflection on us. This is of course made painfully clear by the last issue, which features the juxtaposition of a final monologue in shots of death and people being killed. In a way, in a story is about how, in all actuality, the monsters of Crossed are horrifying but only in the way that now everyone is a Crossed. The monsters of Crossed do exist today, and one of the coolest things you can get out of a horror or science fiction story is a reflection of society. Cross does just that. Of course, the ultimate hero of Cross is Jason Burroughs. I'm familiar with his work based on the other Avatar books that I've read, but Burroughs is a madman genius. I've seen him draw some twisted visions under the pen of Warren Ellis, but if there is anyone who can effectively draw the terrifying worlds that Garth Ennis invents, it's Burroughs. 
Cross features some lush and warped splash pages. And without this kind of art to go with the madness of the story, the tale wouldn't quite work. It's quite clear that Burroughs gets the vision behind Innes' words. And this is just much a tribute to Burroughs' skill as an artist as it is anything else. If you're a fan of Jason Burroughs, you should get this for his art alone. Crossed is, in the end, another great entry into Avatar's library. I'm a big fan of the books that Avatar puts out, and Crossed is a great example why. If you're a fan of more extreme comics than what is put out by the big two, or most companies in general, you'd enjoy Crossed. It is a rather graphic and violent read, but for horror fans it is an instant classic and has all the makings of a bestseller. Thank you for watching.